SpongeBob's busy day. It was SpongeBob's day off from his job at Krusty Krab. He'd spent the entire morning scrubbing, dusting, and waxing his pineapple. Now what? He thought as he rinsed his mop clean. He peered into his refrigerator looking for something to eat, but it was empty. Nothing in it. Zilch. Nada. I know, SpongeBob told his pet snail Gary. Let's go have lunch at Patrick's. SpongeBob and Gary found Patrick under his rock. Patrick was a starfish and SpongeBob's best friend. Hi, Patrick, said SpongeBob. It's my day off and there's nothing in my house for lunch. Do you have anything to eat? Patrick was still sleepy, but he said, Nope, I don't have anything to eat, and it's almost lunchtime. Oh, Spongebob said, sulking, I know. Let's see if Sandy has something to eat for lunch. Ah, Sandy, said Spongebob, it's my day off. Do you have got anything to eat for lunch? Patrick cut in. Uh, it's almost lunchtime, you know. Sorry, guys, said Sandy. I don't have anything in my house to eat. Barnacles, SpongeBob said, groaning. Then he thought for a moment, hey, I know where we can get some lunch. Come on. Squidward froze when he saw SpongeBob and his friends. SpongeBob, what are you doing here? He asked. It's your day off. I was uh, really uh, looking forward to it. It's time for lunch, said SpongeBob cheerily. And this is the best restaurant in Bikini Bottom. What's a day without a crusty crab, crab big patty? That's the spirit, SpongeBob. Let those customers in here, chimed in Mr. Krabs. Everyone take a seat. Squidward, take a break. Lunch is coming right up. SpongeBob and his friends ate their fill of Krabby Patties and more. If I'd known my day off would be this much fun, SpongeBob thought, I would have come to work.